Stop. 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 Oh. Boy, I'm just busting them out today. I'm telling you, I'm on it, son. What is good, people? <coughs> it's your boy T-Rev. I'm back again with some more trailer time. My gosh, I told y'all I was coming with the trailer, so here I am. Right now, we got the main event, ladies and gentlemen. All right? There's been a lot of shows that people say is some of the greatest out there. But if you ain't mentioning Peaky Blinders on your list, credit list. All right? There's no debate. There's no discussion. It's one of the best shows in television history. I could sit here and list out all the reasons why. I'm not going to do that. We got a top three actor, Celia Murphy. Got another top three actor, Tom Hardy. But that's not the reason why. There's so many actors that go hard in this show. You'll forget that it's just a TV show. It's only certain shows where they got that level and quality of story and characters. My nigga Arthur, Thomas Shelby. Come on, come on. The Luca Changretas, the Sabinis. And then we got this nigga here. He coming for the crown. <laughs> Nazi Germany, basically. This dude, Oswald, the devil himself. Oh, yeah. Thomas? <laughs> Tommy, you got to stop this nigga. Because he is... Bad News Bears is an understatement. So let's stop wasting time. We have the Peaky Blinders Season 6. Final season. Trailer now. Look at him! Oh my god. Forgive me, Father. Arthur! Oh, is that Kapal? Nazi Germany! Oh my god. Oh, Mosley! This will be the end of it. The final series! As one of us isn't going to be here for long. Oh, Mikey boy! One last deal to be done. Tommy! Yeah! Stop! 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 Oh! Oh my god, I got goosebumps! If you don't know who I am, then you don't know what I'm about to do. Those who know, know. Let's go. What? <sighs> what? 
Look at him. Forgive me, Lord. The body Arthur! The rhythm. Look at this nigga spot! You gotta take them down! Take them down, Thomas! The gypsies. One more time. I opened the door. Why? You've been doing enemy. I wanted to survive. This will be the end of it. Bro, oh, it's like he knows. Take a good he look, Tom. Because one of us isn't going to be here for long. God. Mm, he looks like a badass. To be done with. Tommy! Then we pick you blind as rest. Who oh, at the one blind as rest? Oh my god. Oh my gosh, man. I about busted one off just now. <laughs> you know, that gets me going. Woo! <laughs> Yo. Like I said, you have to put this at the top of your list. If you watch any other show this year, you watch Peaky Blinders. Like, come on. This is why you see how Thomas... He is he literally knows. He knows that he's gonna die. He knows that the family's coming to an end. And you've been able to see from the beginning of the show, he's never been quite right coming back from war and stuff like that, and the toll that's taken on him. But he's just always known this vision that he has to get accomplished for the sake of his family. What is he gonna do now? He has to try. I think he's going to try and Put it all on his back and see if he can get his family out of there. But I'm worried because I don't know. I was thinking for sure if anybody was going to make it, it was going to be Arthur because that wouldn't be expected because, you know, Arthur was actually living a normal life for a time. But he kind of got dragged back in. And Thomas, that's on you, too, because you kind of pushed him back into it. And Arthur's looking like he's spiraling again. And Thomas is a good person, but he has sacrificed so much. And then he's used the people that are closest to him for his own ambitions and goals. And sometimes he doesn't even realize that he's doing it, I think. It's like, that's how plugged in and five steps ahead that he is, that he's always thinking of the next step. But I think it's just gotten to a point now where he's just tired. He's just tired of running this family and being involved in all of this. And now they're going up against the baddest nigga they've ever went against. Mosley! Freaking Mosley! Dog, you know what he's on. They weren't calling it the Nazi party in the last season or whatever, but we knew what it was. And here this guy is front and center is tommy gonna low-key try and become like a political power to try and combat him in the public eye too as like a representative of the working man i don't know i don't know but could be could be uh my michael oh my gosh he's looking like he's he's ready He's, if anybody's going to take over the family, he's going to take over the family. And it's going to be, I don't know how they're going to do it, but obviously, rest in peace. But the actress who played Polly has passed away. And, you know, I want to see how they're going to phase her out of the show. Because it did look like there was still a couple scenes in there where she's present. 
how much did they get done before what happened happened so after her passing that's what's obviously going to spur on michael to take that next step and really become a leader arthur 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 man he always always god man he just can't help but spiral out of control dog and it's It's, it's really sad because being the older brother, you would think that he would have it more together and to be able to watch over his entire family, but he's clearly just not built for that role. He's not that smart. He doesn't have the foresight that his younger brother has, and they've already lost another one of their brothers. Like, what, what are they going to do? No, it's just like, uh, I just, I just want, I want Arthur to make it out. I want him to make it out because he, he deserves to finally get out of the life. You know what I'm saying? If anyone deserves it, he deserves it. Michael's going to die further into it. You know, their youngest brother, he, it doesn't seem like he's really cut out for it either. Like he was getting involved in all that. Don't get me wrong, but. It don't seem like he got that presence either. And then Alfie. How do I forget about Alfie? He probably gonna go out too. Because he owes Thomas his life. And that's wild. That's just so wild. Uh, Thomas Shelby, boy. You could do a case study on this dude's character. It's just wild. It is so wild that the, by order of the Peaky and Blinders, and it's coming to an end, bro. To take out Mosley, you're gonna have to bring out. I don't know what you you can do to take this guy down, but Mosley's a problem. Like he's a problem, dog. If you go back in this last season and listen to how he was talking. Bro, he was changing people's hearts and minds. And that's a scary, scary thing. When you got that level of charisma. And when he met with him one-on-one, -on -one, I think Thomas knew this guy's bigger than me. And he's got to rise up to the occasion. Because if not, there's no way he's going to be able to take him down. But obviously, my man's going to make it happen. Thomas always finds a way, bro. He'll always find a way. And it's going to be sad to see him go out, but he's got to go out in epic gangster fashion. And if he can take down the Nazis in the process, then I would say that that's a win-win. But oh, I'll be running this back all day, so I'm not going. I'm not going. But load this video down with another one. But it's been your boy T-Rev. Comment like subscribe all those things there where do you think this final season is gonna go who do you think is gonna make it out by the end do you think michael's gonna take over who do you think's going out with tommy let me know it's been your boy t-rabbit about the peaky blinders